chain of events. I had a frightening experience that had included two surgeries, three days in ICU, and over a week in the hospital, and it had been quite a journey up to now. And the chance to share my story with all of you and how it created the Campus for Holistic Learning at the Memphis Jewish Community Center is truly quite an honor. During this time, I learned quite a few things. One in particular is that we, our Jewish communities, know how to do illness well. <laughs> right? We do birth well, and we do death well, and we do celebrations really, really well. There's a rule book, a blueprint of what Jews do. You know, we step up for each other. We make phone calls, we make lists, we make tuna fish, <laughs> and belly plates. At this time, I was embraced by my community. I felt so surrounded and supported and so loved. The visits, the texts, the meals and the prayers, I was overwhelmed in a really great way. I also realized there are some things we don't do well. We don't do divorce well. <laughs> years ago, when I went through my divorce, and the years following, there was none of this. No community support, no texts, and definitely no meals. There was no rule book. At the time when I needed it the most, no one knew what to say, or what to do, or how to act. So I had to go seeking for spiritual connection to make sense of what was happening in my life. Here I was, a young Jewish woman with two boys, feeling like a square peg in a round hole. So seeking I did. I traveled all around the spiritual universe, learning and experiencing, and opening myself up to all sorts of interesting new ideas, people, and places. Sort of an eat, pray, love thing, just without the password. My mission was to find myself. Ironically, as I was doing this, I did not realize that I was also figuring out a way to bring knowledge and understanding back to my community. As in most things, 